Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everyone's having a great night. Uh, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a contest entry for Death Central. Uh, he's doing a 1,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. So congratulations on hitting the 1K and thank you for the generous um, giveaway. Uh, he's going to be giving $50 in PayPal or something off Amazon to whoever uh, wins this contest. Uh, there were a bunch of different questions. Hopefully, I got them all covered here. I don't know how long this video is going to be because uh, a couple of them might have some longer answers. Uh, one of the questions was like a character that you would like to see go crazy and go on a killing spree and why. And one of them that popped up, um, I wouldn't really thought of, but it's kind of ironic because I found it on uh, uh, my old DVD that I had bought of uh, Daria and I hadn't watched it in a while, so I popped it in. And Daria had popped up on the uh, graphics of different characters that he popped up. And uh, I don't know how many of you watched that, but it was really funny because she's always, like, she seems like she's depressed, loner, and she just has n no emotion and just talks. And, like, like she seems like she would snap one day and go on a killing spree. And it's kind of funny because the first episode, uh, she has to take a, a low self-esteem class because she fails this test. And uh, her sister's all popular in the show and everything. And uh, Brittany, who's the cheerleader, is, like, real stupid and would probably get on her nerves. And I think she would just snap and go on a killing spree at Lawndale High. That's uh, And then she'd end up on Six Sad World. <laughs> if you watch that, then you know what that is. Uh, next question was, um, let's see, a graphic kill in a non-horror movie. Uh, and Deadpool had popped up, and yeah, that is a pretty bloody scene. Uh, well, lots of bloody scenes, I should say, in Deadpool when he goes on his killing sprees shooting people. Um, but I'm gonna pick, uh, the scene from Kill Bill, uh, with the bride when she's taking on the 88. Um, she's, like, cutting them up with the sword. She rips out the one guy's eyeball, cutting off their arms, decapitating them, blood everywhere. So that's pretty graphic scene, uh, from Kill Bill. Uh, let's see, uh, he wanted to know some other interests, um, so besides horror, um, Game of Thrones, Magicians, uh, 911, The Good Doctor, uh, 90s Nickelodeon shows, Rocco's Modern Life, all that, um, Clarissa Explains All, all, all the good 90s shows, uh, all the DC shows that are on, Flash, Supergirl, all the Marvel shows, um, even Once Upon a Time in Glee, yes, I am a Gleek, um, I'm very diverse when it comes to what I like, yes, this channel is about horror, but if it's good, um, I like it, no matter what the category is, I also enjoy comedy and action movies, um, uh, I have a wide range of shows and movies, um, musicals, Disney, even, whatever, you know, if it's good, I like it, I don't care, uh, so, those are some of the other things I'm into, uh, let's see. Another one was a uh, favorite video of yours. I do enjoy the kill counts um, that you've done. Um, I'll have to go back and watch some other videos, which I might leave a comment of another video for you of, uh, of a non-kill count um, that I enjoyed. Uh, let's see. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing you do that slasher series that you were talking about on your channel. That would be really interesting to see uh, what work and slashers you put together to do your comic book or online series, uh, how, however you do that. And I wouldn't mind seeing some gaming on that. Maybe like uh, if you play some scenes from Mortal Kombat, the best fatalities or funny moments of any games or whatever. Um, unless you want to do some live streaming of it. Uh, it's totally up to you, but I'd watch it. Uh, another question was, uh, do you believe in anything supernatural or any creatures, um, uh, such as aliens, ghosts, uh, Bigfoot, angels, Loch Ness Monster, and have I had any encounters? Uh, yes, I have, um, with a couple of those, um, Bigfoot, no, not Bigfoot, um, but who knows? I mean, anything's possible. There's a lot of weird things in the world we don't know about. Um, but as for ghosts, I have been in the most haunted house in Florida. Uh, the house is in Claremont. Uh, I believe it was like back in the 80s, early 80s. Uh, this guy, they never really found out who killed him, but he, I guess he was a gambler. He might have owed people money. And during the night, they set his truck on fire. And then they shot him in the driveway. And if you look up online, Claremont and Unsolved Mysteries, I mean, this is all legit true 
murder that happened in front of the house. And the family that had moved in, uh, the woman had actually dreamed of the house where when you go in through the attic, it leads down to the kitchen. And when her and her husband were going uh, house hunting, she came across that house and she knew about the house and the stairway because she had dreamed about it. And so uh, stuff was going on with the kids and stuff being moved, the boat uh, coming off the, uh, like the brick and everything and all this weird stuff. And uh, the spirit would show up and freaked out the kids that were there. And the family ended up moving out. And she wasn't on Unsolved Mysteries, but they mentioned her name, Donna, at the end of it. And my dad, um, when he was alive, he worked uh, in that house, and he knew Donna and was friends with her. So I was actually in that house at the time. Uh, I was hoping to, like, maybe hear the ghost or see it. Or I even had, like, a, um, at the time, I had, like, a wind-up camera from uh, Walgreens and everything. And I was just taking pictures, maybe an apparition or something weird. Or, um, so I went up to the attic by myself. And, like, I felt like someone was there, and I heard, like, almost like footsteps and the door when my back was turned it I mean I heard it slam and open up it was weird I actually I literally saw it open I mean it's like really freaky and um but I wasn't like terrified I mean it was it was a cool experience and it wasn't like a poltergeist or anything and like when my dad was working there by himself uh, he would hear doors slam upstairs footsteps uh Donna would have her keys moved uh there was one time I guess she left the windows open and then it was like going to rain or something that day and she was trying to hurry home and all the windows were shut and locked when they were wide open. So like a bunch of weird stuff had uh, gone on in that house. Uh, so I mean, it, it's pretty interesting. And I think uh, it's, I heard something years back, um, I forget how long ago it was, but I don't know if she had someone like come in and either bless the house or something and then it no longer um was there i haven't got talked to dawn on years and i don't even know what's going on with that situation or if she even still lives there um after we moved and everything um as for like an angel may have been an angel i mean it was when i was younger um like i was like seeing things or i had a nightmare and i was like seeing things in my room as a younger kid and I'll, I'll never forget it because it was it was really weird. Uh, there was a light in the corner. I was laying on my back and I was like looking around the room and I was like kind of freaked out and like something that I saw on the floor, like I don't know if it was a toy or clothes or towel or something like in my childhood mind looked terrifying. And I was, I didn't want to move. And in the corner of the ceiling, there was a little tiny light and it started getting bigger and brighter just just the light I didn't see anything and it like flashed around my room almost like uh searchlights or bright lights and it went over everything that I thought was something terrifying in my mind you know and it showed me what it really was and I was wondering what where the light was coming from and I like leaned up really fast and it just vanished but when I saw it though I wasn't terrified it like calmed me down when I saw everything and I told my mom that and everything, and it was like maybe a guardian angel or something. Uh, so uh, that, that was another experience. Um, as for aliens, I have seen UFOs when I was younger. Uh, my aunt even saw one and like stuff that I've read and researched, like it stays in families and everything. Um, when I was... Ooh, Okay, I get weird talking about this. I literally, hair stands up on my arm like I'm not supposed to talk about this. But I don't care. Whatever. Um, so I'm not saying I was ever abducted or anything like that. I mean, uh, see, what I, I study it from like a scientific point, if that makes sense. Like, I always watched shows and everything when I was younger and I was fascinated. And like my grandfather told me one time that he, when he was like 10 or 12, I forget... Uh, he used to cross these train tracks on the way home and he had some missing time. He didn't know what happened and he was on the other side of the tracks. Then my aunt said she saw one land one time and take off. And then I th was in middle school. I think it was sixth grade. I want to say sixth or seventh grade. And my mom was across the street and I could have just called and asked her whatever the question was at the time. And I was walking outside 
and I felt like I was being washed and I looked up and above me there was like this round it was I just saw the bottom of it flying disc silent there was no sound right above me and it was blinking red blue and yellow lights underneath were flashing back and forth and in my head I was thinking run and get the camera I mean this would have been the best clearest picture of evidence ever <laughs> and it ticks me off every time Ooh, that's so weird like I get this chill down my spine when I tell the story like I'm not supposed to I um and in my mind I'm like running get the camera and it was as if some force was holding me in place and I'm just looking up at it just there and I mean I wasn't terrified I was amazed because I've watched shows about UFOs and never thought I would see any and I couldn't move until uh, it just slowly went out of the sight. And then, like, as it started moving, it just went, and I mean, like, light speed gone in a flash. Just, like, warp speed, I mean, if you want to say. And so, once it was gone, I could move. And it's bugged me for years that I could never get a picture of that. Because it just sounds like a crazy story. And then there's, like, like I said, I'm interested in it, the possibility... But what I hate is how some people, like, make up stories and make them sound crazier. Like, I remember watching this one UFO tape, this woman saying how she's had telepathic contact with them for years. Or all these weird stories that make people who want to study it and understand that there could be life on other planets. Seriously, it kind of ruins it for people who are, like, serious about it and not making up stories. But, uh, wow, coming up in 12 minutes, this is a really long video. So, but yeah, that's, um, my weird encounters. So, I mean, um, I haven't encountered Bigfoot yet. Uh, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but who knows what's out there. Um, Loch Ness Monster, I mean, there, who knows what people see, whether it's like a monster itself or some sort of species of animal we don't know or hasn't existed for a long time. I mean, there could be tons of stuff at the bottom of the ocean people don't know about and we can't get to. So, who knows? But, um, alright. So, again, congratulations Death Central. Um, and good luck to everyone else who enters and that's my entry. Um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.